Holy Spirit, I pray that every person watching this, I ask that that you would just be glorified in their life, that you would bring glory, your glory into their situation right now, that your glory would begin to rise upon them in the middle of this video. As darkness covers the earth and gross darkness, the nations, I pray for your glory to rise upon every person underneath the sound of my voice. I pray that they would feel a quickening in their spirit, that they would feel the calling begin to arise within them, that they would feel your presence right now in Jesus' name that I pray. So I'm really excited about this. But this word is tied to a dream that I had at the end of 2023. And I've talked about this before and I have even written on it. But I had a dream and in the dream, I just heard this voice saying Psalms 102, Psalms 102. Psalms 102 and then I woke up and I knew that the Lord was speaking to me because I was prompted to go read the scripture Psalms 102 I don't think I had ever read it up until this point but I opened my Bible and in my Bible the header says from tears to praise and this scripture became a foundational scripture because David is this is described as a prayer for those who are overwhelmed and for all those who are discouraged, who have come to pour out their hearts before the Lord. So David is pouring out his heart to the Lord. And I knew in this moment that this scripture is going to be foundational for 2024. Scriptures that you can build your life upon and stand upon. It's an invitation from the Holy Spirit to take hold of these words. These are not just David's words. These words belong to the Lord and he gives them freely. Freely eat, says the Lord. But I want you to know that at the recording of this video, it's May 2nd, 2024. And whenever you're seeing this, I'm trusting that this is finding you exactly at the moment that the Lord intended you to find it. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you are coming into a set time, an appointed time. And when you come into an appointed time, it has nothing to do with your own strength. It has nothing to do with your own authority. It has everything to do with God's sovereignty. God is sovereign. He alone is sovereign. He does not answer to us. But I have been feeling this in my spirit that this time right now in your life is a set time. It's an appointed time. And God is about to do things on your behalf that have nothing to do with you. And I really believe, thank you, Holy Spirit, he is, he is dealing with the unworthiness. If you're anything like me, I don't feel worthy of what God does in my life. But this is a season where his, his goodness is going to cause you to repent even deeper. His goodness in your life, what he's getting ready to open in your life, if he hasn't already, is going to drive you deeper and deeper into deliverance. And this is what I wanna read. And it's starting in Psalms 102. Go read the passage and I'm reading it out of the Passion Translation. But in verse 13, it says, I know you are about to arise and show your tender love or your mercy to Zion. Now is the time, Lord, for your compassion and mercy to be poured out. The appointed time has come for your prophetic promises to be fulfilled. When you arise to intervene, all the nations and kings will be stunned and will fear your awesome name, trembling before you in glory. You will reveal yourself. This is a season where God is revealing himself in a way that you've never seen him before. He is getting ready to appear in the brightness of his glory over your life to restore you and to give you children. Write all of this down for the coming generation so the recreated people, which is us, will read it and praise the Lord. And it ends with this phrase, and I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you, Lord, will replace it all. And the Lord is getting ready to replace it all in your life, things that you've had to walk away from, 
things that the Lord has led you to obey in, not knowing the outcome, not understanding why he asked you to do that. But I'm telling you, you're coming into a set time. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one, for every season, there is a, there is a set time. There is an appointed time and you're coming into an appointed season of your life. And there are areas that the Holy Spirit has been highlighting and I've been hesitant to release this um, because it has to do with finances. And I want you to understand, I'm not a person on the internet that just, hey, I can get views by talking about finances, but I really feel in my spirit what the Lord is getting ready to do and is actively doing. I've received so many confirmations, but it has everything to do with finances. And I declare over your life, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you are getting ready to experience an increase within your finances. God is getting ready to open up doors that will shift your finances. For many of you, you have been applying for jobs, you have been trying, but God kept those doors from opening because of what he has for you. You're going to praise the Lord for all of those closed doors. He's about to put you into a place and drive you so firmly in place like a nail into the wall. He's driving you into that place because he wants you in that job. He did not want you in that job. And for many of us, God is releasing creative ideas. God is calling us. And I believe in the name of Jesus, I, I really feel his virtue. For many of you, he's calling you to launch your own thing. He's getting ready to cause you to receive ideas for ministries, for businesses, for investments, for purchases that you're going to make that are going to change the finances within your family tree. God is, is ushering in, you into his kingdom. And when God begins to, to reveal things and give you finances, it's never for you. It's never just for you and your family. It is for you, your family, and people connected to you. God never does something just for an individual. It's always through that individual. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus, God is getting ready to work miracles within your finances. He is getting ready to work wonders within your finances. He is getting ready to, to bring about ideas in your life that is going to allow you to get out of debt. God is, is moving heaven and earth in this season within our finances and within, for many of us, jobs. And so I ask you, Holy Spirit, to seal this. I pray that this would be a confirming word. I pray for every person moving into a set time. I pray for the spirit of boldness. I pray for any hesitation that they may be feeling in this season. I pray that you would release upon them your anointing, your anointing right now, Holy Spirit, that your anointing would begin to come upon them to obey whatever you are showing them in this season. I pray any hesitation, we ask it to leave in Jesus name any any fear that has been surrounding their mind within their thoughts Holy Spirit I ask that you would break it by your anointing I feel the Holy Spirit so tender in this moment coming into your space and I ask you Holy Spirit to begin to burn up anything that is not like you any thoughts that are not like you in this season every evil that has set itself up against this person we bind it right now in the name of Jesus return to the place in which you left in Jesus name everything that has sought to destroy you is being broken off of your life everything that the enemy stole from you the Lord Lord himself is getting ready to replace tenfold, 100 fold in your life in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. I want you to receive this word, get it into your spirit, get it into your spirit in Jesus name. Comment amen, comment amen, and comment below. I am moving into a set time in my life. I am moving into a set time in my life in Jesus' name. I love you.